This is how I think all the models should be on the internet. Excuse me. When you are trying to do your best. This is how all the models should be on the internet. When modeling's, modeling's <sighs> cheapers, creepers. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, okay, we are doing a tour. Don't, look at my goals. <sighs> it's just water weight, lady. <sniffs> you and your judgmental eyeballs. <sighs> Anyways, my merch is still for sale. We haven't sold out yet. And hurry before they're all gone. High quality, beautiful, all around merchandises. Because it's iconic, it's legendary, it's so unique, just like my life. So link down below, it's just waterweight.com and you can have one. I see people wearing these at Walmart. I've written a letter with Nancy, co-signed Nancy in the firm, saying, excuse me, Walmart, I deserve to have my own rack here. The fact that my fans are buying these in the thousands mean that there's a high demand for these because they're hilarious. They are iconic. They are the moment. They're just majestic. Anyways, let me sit down. <sighs> Excuse me. It, uh. Uh. Cheapers, creepers. Uh. I'm catching my breath. Don't look at me. Thank you for all your nice messages yesterday. Today, we're gonna be answering all your questions on my Instagram account. Make sure you follow it, it's brand new. It's called Nicocado Avocado underscore real. So I'm trying to build up my, excuse me, focus on my face. Now, while I'm here, I want to remind you of my classic, it's just water weight. So you can buy it's just water weight in the classic modern text, or you can buy it with the upgrade version with my face screaming at the scale. It's just water weight. And I've been saying it's just water weight literally for years. I've been saying it for years, you guys. Ever since I got my first growth of my double chin back in 2018. Actually, I made a video called I'm Getting Fat and Don't Know Why. I was wearing a purple shirt. It was four years ago. And I still don't know why. But anyways, it's just what I'm going to wear this one today, I think. I want something that's clean, sophisticated, modern, easy to read, eye-catching, yet hilarious and relatable. Just iconic, legendary. So if you, these are still for sale too. I have the red ones and the black ones. Also, I gained, since the, I haven't done a merch shout out before you start complaining. I haven't done like a sit down talking about my merch for a good week. In one week, I've gained over 25,000 followers in a week. So if you're one of my OG viewers, you can skip this. Don't be leaving rude comments like stop. There's 25,000 people that would love to wear. It's just water weight. And I've sold over 9,000 just of these alone. And then again, you can, if you like this, you can get it. If you want to pay for the upgrade, you can get it with my face. That's me screaming at the OG scale. So my scale, she told a lot of lies on me. There's her. I took her in for a photo shoot. Oh, that liar. <laughs> Anyways, what else do we have? Oh, by the way, we're sitting in my living room. I thought it'd be a nice backdrop. And so this is the case for a lot of my shirts. For example, we have, it's your fault. All right, it comes in red, it comes in black, doesn't fade, nothing. And guess what? We have an upgraded version, oh, beautiful, and there's me screaming. Because it is your fault. Because it is. Because it's true. Oh my god, I'm so proud. And then I'm going to show you one more. I'm calling corporate. This one is like our third most popular, I think. I identify skinny as number one, not including these. The ones with my faces all around, they cost the most, but they also cost us the most to make. These, these cost more than these, but it's still a lot simpler than this because you have to print everywhere. The sleeves, the hood underneath, the pockets, it's a lot of printing. But anyways, I'm calling corporate. This comes in red and black, just like every other expression. And then you can get the upgraded version with my face. I'm calling corporate. So there you have it. This is just a little preview of the things that I have on my site. 
go to itsjustwaterweight.com. Link is always in the description box. And Christmas is over, but guess what? You don't need to only buy gifts for Christmas. Ugh. Who's texting me? It's Nancy. This is one of the first shirts I came out with. I'm getting fat and don't know why. <laughs> Those are my tears. Those are my tears, my water weight flying out. And I had a really nice artist do this. And um, again, soft, doesn't fade, really high quality print, and iconic. If you're a Nick Okado fan, I mean, come on. This is hilarious. I'm getting fat and don't know why. <sighs> so, and this is the hoodie that goes all the way around. You can see it on the hood. You can see it underneath of the hood. So, <laughs> it's my meltdown shirt. What can I say? I'm always melting down. And, um, yeah, my face here. And people, um, and you can buy this in a regular shirt as well. And for these, we have to use a special fabric. Because someone asked, actually a lot of people have asked, and I know I've said this a million times. This is a standard shirt. You can, you can print, it's like a stamp. You stamp it on, you print it. But that's because it's on, this, on one little area. And it's fine because there's give and take everywhere else. If you're gonna print every single square inch, it will just cake. It'll just be one big layer of ink. And then you need to have movement. Usually there's not that much movement on the front. You hear what I'm saying? Like on the front, what's moving is your arms, your shoulders. The, if you watch me move, this is not really bending too much. This is moving, this is bending. Long story short, <clears throat> you need to, um, this you print on. This one you have to like soak the fibers. They have to do a double print. And they need a special fabric that can give and take. Now it's only the ones with my faces all around it, the, the all over ones. It's the emotion faces. Those ones have a, like, a special fabric, a blend, so that it can still move and not start chipping or cracking or caking or ripping off or fading off. We want to never to fade. And first of all, no companies would even print this style because like when you go to a manufacturer, they're like, okay, here's the box that you get a print in right here. That's it. Have you noticed most t-shirts that you buy, it's always in one area. It's never like at the belly button, like at the very bottom or like randomly under the armpits because that's not the policy of the printing company. So first of all, they'll never even do this. But even if we could, again, this is a print. This is like a stain. So, and it's on the back. It's everywhere. It's all over the place. Under here, there's my face under there. Look at that. <laughs> and it looks very realistic, very good. So anyways, today, well yes, you can buy all these things on my website. It's just waterweight.com, link down below. And thank you for supporting my train wreck of a channel. Today, I'm gonna have some McDonald's and like I said earlier, I'm gonna be doing answering your questions on my Instagram account. I do appreciate everyone that left teddy bears. Actually, a lot of people watched all of yesterday's video. I really do appreciate it. Sorry, I have a list, my Invisalign's in. I'll take it out in a minute. Um, yesterday was really bad for me, mentally, and uh, yeah, it was just really scary. <laughs> Mental things is scary. It's a true, it's a, it's a true thing. And um, it really, it was not okay. <laughs> I'm laughing about it now, but it's nothing to laugh at. Like, it was, not, yesterday was really dark for me. Um, but I'm feeling a lot better today. I'm gonna tell you what I did to get over it and things that helped me that might help you. And yeah, let's just eat. Today I want McDonald's, which is a classic for me. And um, yeah, that's my little intro. <laughs> and you know what? I love hoodie weather. You guys never see me in long sleeves like ever, ever. It's just, I'm like, ever, ever, ever. Like it's just, it's so soft and it's just so iconic. Like, I get so many compliments and people laugh. And I wore this at Walmart and some guy was like, is that you? Is that you? Oh my goodness. Oh, that's so funny. Where'd you get that done? I'm like, I made it myself. It's my own company. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty amazing. And this is by far the number one most seller I've ever sold. This one and the, the, the short sleeves regular t-shirt of the red, faces that's the, like thousands but these are all good as well 
you, you know, because this is a lot more money. If you don't want to spend that much money, or you don't really, maybe you don't even like it, or you know, whatever your budget is, whatever. <clears throat> so that's my merch sh store. Link down below. Okay. Who would have thought that I'd be saying it's just water weight and I'd be making merch with my belly? <laughs> Who would have thought? Oh my god. So let's begin the show. Here we go. It's gonna be a long video, probably. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Look at my mouth. <laughs> Sheepers, creepers. Spookios. Ah. People keep looking at my rolls. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me, people, people, people of the internet. <sighs> I'm back home, should we do? Oh. They do not have enough workers today. Clearly. Oh, my head's being chopped off. Don't worry. <gasps> they did not have enough. Why is this all crookedy? Oh, I think there's something wrong with this. All right, here we go. Lucy, Lucy, oopsie, oopsie. I'm hungry. What am I doing? Oh, I'm spilling it. It's your fault. Hi, I'm back. I don't know how much I'm going to show that. I was really upset about that stupid, stupid twisty knob. I don't even know what to call them. A screw with like a big, a big old thumb at the bottom. Anyways, I have my cheese. I love cheese. Dun dun. Oh, that's a nice tambiance. Okay. You guys, I'm in a much better mood as you saw in the intro. In case you skipped the intro, buy my merch. It's just water weight. My hoodies, my shirts, they're so amazing. Oh my gosh, support the channel, would ya? Thank you. All right, let's see what we got. I did not like the way they packaged them. Everything is kind of lopsided, thrown around. I did, ooh. Extra mustard, extra ketchup, extra onions. It kind of looks like it when you see through the package, doesn't it? Yes. Okay. I love McDonald's. I love McDonald's. It just, mmm, that classic flavor and smell of the onions. Mmm, how would you describe McDonald's to someone? Onions and butter. Something like that. Okay, we got some Big Macs. And I got four, ooh, they're greasy. Ooh, why are they so greasy? I, I'm not complaining. See how they put that up? Put it in wrong. Thank you very much. So I got all these Big Macs. I got four. Now you guys know I prefer a double quarter pounder. <laughs> I do like being pounded, okay. But instead of doing that, I decided to do something different because sometimes I do crave Big Macs. And today, I was craving Big Macs, okay. So those will go down over there. I have my little cheeseburger. I, I can't. Oh, I asked for buffalo sauce in the, the window. The guy, I feel like they were short staffed. They looked at me all funny and they gave me like one at a time. It was very slow. Look how these are just thrown in here. Oh my gosh, but I love them. Mmm. Mm. Oh my god, that's so delicious. Mmm. Oh my gosh, I. Ooh. When they're like soft and bendy like this, like floppy. Mmm. The salt. The butter. I keep saying butter. There's no butter involved. It's oil. Sorry, I was catching my breath. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, Nick, this is not okay. Oh, he told the truth. The barbecues are at the bottom of the bag. Yay. I feel so much better today. I feel so, so much better. Yesterday was really, I I'm telling you, every couple days, I mean, excuse me, a couple times a month, I get one of those days where I'm just like, I feel really upset with my life, the world, my subscribers. It's all you. But today I feel grateful. <laughs> you know how that is? Sometimes you hate the world the next day, you love the world. I love life. I mean, I'm still upset about certain things, don't get me wrong. Trust me, shivering and shaking in my bed. It's a lot of up here, but it's also real life too. So it's like horrible, because it's just like real life situations that are just like exasperated, exa not even exaggerate, just intensified. But what they say, give me the strength to change what I can control and to let go what I can't control. Look, so they didn't have any, they were running low at a lot of stuff. They ran out of double quarter pounders, which is a good thing I didn't order on the app. It's like I was psychic. Oh, they put some stuff in here too. They put barbecue, oh my God, I so many bought, ah! 
I got so many barbecues, you guys. They did a good job today. And all of them, all the guys in there, they were all men today, which is strange. It's usually like 50-50. They were all men. It was like men's hour. Well, they ran out of stuff. <laughs> they ran out of um, the boxes for the 40 piece, or the 20 piece. So they gave me, what's four times? Goodbye. I'm going to do my times tables. Let's set this up. Oh, we can open one. Tangy, tangy. Oh, um. So I have to redo this part because it, I had it all perfect for you. I know. And we're going to use Tostitos cheese. I'm going to go more, warm this up in the microwave because I want it warm. Yes. And I'm so excited to eat with you guys. Yay. And like I said, today we're going to be answering questions from my Instagram account. So make sure you follow it. It's called Nikocado Avocado underscore real. And I'm trying to build it back up. I was at 500,000 with a check mark. Now I'm back down to 10,000 or something. <laughs> That's okay. There's still a lot of people there. It's enough for me. But let's see what you guys want to know. Let's find out. Here we go. One, two, three. Bam! <sighs> Yay! We're back. Sing with me, guys. Home, should we do, we're home, hello, we're back home, should we do, we're home, hello, and this is hot and steamy, cause we're eating McDonald's feast with cheese, yay, there's french fries flying everywhere, <laughs> let's just eat, mmm, mmm, ah, Oh, I love food. I think without food, I would die. How about you? Mm. Mm. Today, make sure you have something to eat with me. We're gonna be eating together because I'm gonna be answering your questions today from, oh my God. Mm. And it looks nasty AF, but it's actually really good. <laughs> I'm gonna be answering your questions from my Instagram account. My new one. The one that I have to start from zero. It's called Nikocado Avocado underscore real. And I had to put the real there because there's like 15,000 other Nikocados now. All pretending to be me. And I don't like it. Mmm. Mmm. These are so soft. Let's try. Ooh, you know what I have? More. This is a chicken nugget. This is how it should be every time and it's not. Soft, greasy, smooth, not dry. This is a chicken nugget. Mmm. Don't look at my double chin, Ashley. I see you're judging. Excuse me, Philip. I see you too. I'm skinny. Actually, it's just water weight. Buy the t-shirt. It's just water weight. Link down below. Go to itsjustwaterweight.com. Purchase them. So soft. So sophisticated. So simple and modern and classic. I, you could totally see this at like Walmart. <laughs> Actually, no. Where's a very like bougie place? Walmart. Walmart. <laughs> it's your fault. I <laughs> Click the link below and get yourself a cameo where I'll make a special video just for you. Treat yourself or surprise someone else. It makes a great gift. Link below. Mm. 
I'm talking, um, these nuggets are how they're supposed to be. Where are the top go? Excuse me. Well, we're off to a great start, aren't we? Get some vitamins so I'm extra. Why well, won't this open? <clears throat> ring, ring, a ling. Ring, ring, a ling. That's Nini with her teeth clumping. Ring, a ling, ling. Ring, a ling, ling. Here comes Nini. She looks like a lady that just clinks and clonks, right? Like, you know when you hear certain people walk through the hallway or like, like a teacher? Clunk, 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 clunk. <sighs> All right, let's just pretend that didn't happen. Mm! The nuggets today are perfect. I haven't had this, this I haven't had them this good. Look, I love how they're symmetrical, like falling opposite ways. Mmm. Ah. I have not had them this perf perfect for a very long time. Sometimes you get lucky. Okay, guys. Today was the first time I saw all men in there. <clears throat> well, thank you. <clears throat> That's the only difference I know. Those are perfect. They're never this good. Honestly, it's because it's at nighttime. It's probably just because these, these were fresh. Mm. Like I was saying, go to itsjustwaterweight.com, link down below, and you should rock this this winter. Get the hoodie. <clears throat> okay. Today, oh, let's try a Big Mac, and then today I'm going to be answering your questions for my Instagram account. I'm in no rush because... I'm in no rush because I, I want to give people time to leave their questions. I'm sure they're very nice. Mm -hmm. and you know how people are. All right, let's just do one of these that fell. Here's a bit. Here's a Big Mac. You know why this is good too? Because it's hot. Hot and steamy. Hot and steamy. Mmm. And no, I did not speed. Oh, so good. I don't believe in speeding. This is so good. I identify as healthy. I identify as attractive <clears throat> today. Look how good I look. I identify as attractive today. Mm. Here we go, here we go, here we go. get so dark all of a sudden. Excuse me. Now it's bright. I don't know. <clears throat> ah, this is such delicious food. All right, let's go to my Instagram account. Let's see what you guys want to know. <sighs> mm. Where's my, where's my, here we go. I 
I should have waited long. I, this only has 13,000 views. I put up like an hour ago, two hours ago. Oops. Will you record another video with the Hungry Fat Chick? Not right now. I'm back home in Florida. She lives in Las Vegas. For now, she does. <clears throat> Are you planning a weight loss journey? Uh, no. No. I know I keep saying, oh, when I'm 30, why should I stop when I'm 30? Who says those rules? No. Are you skinny? Very skinny. I identify as skinny and healthy. Oh, my vitamins. Extra healthy. What's your uh, advice for people who are confident in their body? Be confident. I don't know what to say. Um, I really don't know what to say. How do I make you want to like your body? You need to find someone that loves it. You know what I mean? There's people out there. What's your plan after mukbangs? Why do you think I'm going to quit mukbang? Where are people? Uh, is it my fault? It's never my fault. It's your fault. Okay. People think I'm quitting soon. I'm not. The plan is to eat to survive. Mm. I love cheese. Da -dum. I love cheese. Da -dum. I love cheese. Da -dum. Yes, I do. I do. Let's try this again. I love. <clears throat> Let's try it again. <clears throat> I love cheese. Oops, I sound like a bug. <clears throat> I love cheese. Da -dum. I love cheese. Da -dum. I love cheese. Da -dum. Yes, I do. I do. I love cheese. Da -dum. I love cheese. Da -dum. You like cheese. Da -dum. Yes, I do. I do. I love cheese. I love that cheese. <laughs> it wasn't as good as yesterday. And that's how you do it. Savage with it, you peasants. I was watching this one YouTube video about this professional who made a video reacting to me when I was sitting in that hotel. Like, oh, I bought this house. Look at all those poor people who work. It's so entertaining. He thought I was serious. He's like, he's so derogatory. He makes fun of people. It's insensitive. You need to get off the internet, you old man. Can't take a joke. Oh my god. This society encourages babyism. Uh-huh. This is so healthy. Oh, nigga, Kyle's encouraging unhealthy eat. You people can't take a joke ever. It's really sad. These are grown people. Grown people. Grown people. Grown men and women. Town people. Every time someone thinks they they're on to me, I'm already two steps ahead of you. <laughs> The irony is that these people are so pompous and forthright and righteous. They sit on their computers on their YouTube channel and say how, how I'm so immature and they're so concerned for mental health. Oh, trigger warning, which I think I'm highly against trigger warnings. I think it's stupid, absolutely stupid. This babying of society. <clears throat> And as they sit there and talk about how mentally unstable I am, they fail to realize how ironic 
it is that they are watching people be silly on the internet and they're using their time in life, their time, to report on it. Like they, like they're solving the case, like Nancy Drew. Blue's Clues, where's the clue? I found the clue, oh! They just looking for like hats on the back. Wow, you solved the mystery. We had no idea that Nick Akato acts crazy for attention. Oh my gosh. It's like you are a grown 60 year old man. And this is what you're doing with your life. I'm over here cashing in. What are you doing? You idiot. And that's the irony. I'm the one with the mental problems, right? <laughs> I'm the one with the mental problems, yet these people are so mental themselves. I'm telling you, I'm really blessed that I came from a normal family of professionals and really well-educated, I mean, highly educated people. Everyone in my family went to college. Half my families are doctors, doctorate degrees in something, psychology, whatever. It's like, I'm three steps ahead. <laughs> I'm three steps ahead. And these people make videos about me on the internet. Oh, he's just, he has so many mental, I'm so concerned for his mental state. I'm like, what about your mental state? Are you looking at yourself? Do you have any self-awareness? Look what you're doing. You're watching clowns on the internet and you're typing it up like ABCs. Here's my report. Oh, get a life. Get a life. Do you not have a life? Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I love cheese. Dun -dun. I love cheese. Dun -dun. I love cheese. Dun -dun. Yes, I do. I do. I love cheese. Ba -bum. Ah, I love cheese. I love cheese. <clears throat> the num. Trigger warning! Trigger warning! Um, for the babies. All these babies who don't know who they are and don't know where they are and don't know who they are and don't know anything about anything. Trigger warning! All this hand holding in 2022. <sighs> I'm eating to survive right now. So I can go sit on my Walmart scooter and talk about how skinny I am. So you can watch with your boring lives. Mm. Can you eat pho again? Eh, pho. It's kind of boring. I mean, it's fine, but ooh, it's okay. Will I eat again? Probably not anytime soon, if I'm being honest with you. Um, do you ever play games? No. If so, what's your favorite? The last time I really got into a game was The Sims. Back when you used to buy the expansion packs for like Sims Vacation and Sims Pets and Sims Making Magic. Oh, I love that one. Yeah. 
That was like 10 years ago at least. <sighs> what went wrong in your life? Um. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> Nothing. I am happy. I just saw your last video. I wish I lived closer. I could give you a hug. Thank you. Yesterday, I was really sad. Today, I'm happy. I'm not answering that out loud. What takeout would you recommend when I visit America in the future? Oh my God, where did I begin? <laughs> mm. You gotta get a Taco Bell. I love Taco Bell. You gotta get some spicy chicken. Either Popeye's, Church's, or Jollibee. Mmm. And then if you're still alive, oh, um, I don't know, what's next? McDonald's. <clears throat> but I guarantee you probably have it where you live. They have it in every country, pretty much. I love, I've fallen in love with Raising Cane's chicken. But if you're kind of over the chicken, get a fat burger cheeseburger. It's the best burger, the, the triple X. Ah. Oh. And you should get Jack in the Box, anything from the menu is outstanding. Should I stop there? You're probably dead by now. Okay. What's your biggest goals or resolution for 2022? My biggest goal is to post more on my YouTube shorts and my Instagram reels. And I guess TikTok too, all of them, all those little things. I would like to post more. It's just, you know, I'm working for free basically. And don't say it doesn't take work, it does. <laughs> A good hour goes into a little 15 second. It's crazy. Setting up the light, coming up with the concept, doing a few takes, editing it. <clears throat> Do you like Amber? Who, my dietitian? No. Nope. <clears throat> nope, nope, no. Nope. Pathological liar. No. Why is it so dark again? Also, I'm so mad that all my food fell down to the ground. Here, let's make it a little more decorative. It looks like I ate all my food, but I, I just spilled most of it. How are you today? Much better than yesterday. What's your least favorite restaurant? In-N-Out Burger. Nasty. <clears throat> In my opinion. You know, and it can be good when you're really hungry, but once you have a little, t excuse me, a little taste of everything else out there, I think that is the most overrated restaurant. Shake Shack's better, Jack in the Box is better, Wendy's is better. <clears throat> Jollibee cheeseburgers are so good. You saw my reaction yesterday. Oh my God, so good. Like, so genuinely good. McDonald's, way back. I mean, this is classic deliciousness. Classic deliciousness. It's so great. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Have you ever worn a wig? No. Oh, for like a video, yeah. But not like, <laughs> how do you identify today? Good question. The day I, that's really funny. <clears throat> it says, what do you identify as? How do you identify today? I'm currently identifying as talented. I'm talented and as family before the haters come you're eating too much food I am a family I eat for a family okay hi king hi <clears throat> let me see that Ooh. <laughs> okay uh, How do we say this? My gushy. There we go. Do 
Do you have a weight goal? No. Click the link below to follow my Patreon. You'll get exclusive weekly videos about my life, plus tons of mukbangs not allowed on YouTube. Link below. I mean, no, I really don't. I really don't care. I pretend like I care, so you clip the video. I really don't care. I say this all the time. I literally do. I said it in my last collaboration with Hungry Fat Chick. We weighed ourselves, so I'm like, to be honest, we only do this for you guys. She don't care. I don't care. No, we don't care about our... Why does these numbers matter so much? I matter how I feel, how my clothes fits, how I'm thinking. <clears throat> do you like jazz? Wink, 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 wink. Is jazz keyword for something else? Do I like jazz? Am I supposed to replace the A for an I? No, I don't. Would you ever do vlogs instead? I hate vlogs. I like to watch them sometimes. Actually, I like to watch, I hate making them. They ruin your whole day. You feel like a slave. No. Hate vlogging. Hate. If you ever see me do a little vlog for you, you better be very appreciatory because deep down I'm really unhappy. <laughs> I really don't want to do this. More chicken nuggets. <clears throat> More chicken nuggets. More chicken nuggets. Oh, people were complimenting my voice yesterday. I got really into the I Love Cheese song. Ah, I'm not going to do it again, but <clears throat> I was just full of emotions. And then I just kind of... I know how to hold a pitch. I know intonations. Do I me faster let you do? I, I did all that training, right? I don't have good tone though, so just because the pitch is there, or like <clears throat> it sounds like it makes sense, my tone's horrible. I never took vocal classes. I sound like an amateur. But then again, don't most these famous singers? Yeah, they do. <laughs> Am I jealous that Orland's losing weight? A little bit, to be honest. But he is going vegan, you guys. I'm not doing that. He's still vegan, by the way. These chicken nuggets are so good. Speaking of vegan, I'm like, mmm, chicken. But actually, there's some really good, I mean, I will admit, he gave me some vegan chicken nuggets the other day and they were beautiful and at the time what had I, I literally had just had mcdonald's and they weren't like this i'm telling you this is a very unusual day where they're perfection juicy and soft like melt in your mouth like jack in the box they're usually not this good but they weren't last couple weeks ago when he gave me his vegan chicken nuggets and i just had mcdonald's regular chicken nuggets i'm like wow the vegan ones are so much better yeah, and one of my favorite mac and cheeses on earth is by Chow. It's called Chow Mac and Cheese by Vegan. Mmm. It's very tasty. And you're like, Nick, well, if you like all these foods, and Orlin clearly, Orlin's losing weight by eating vegan junk food. It's kind of crazy. I mean, let's, I knew it would happen, but he's also shrinking his brain. So there's my answer. I don't want to sh shrink my brain. I feel like I'm very smart now. Except for the part when all my food fell down to the ground. Pretend that didn't happen. But I am an, an intellect. Veganism promotes bad thinking. I was doing business with a company, which I would love to rake through the coals. And I might one day. Every time I think about them, I get so upset. <clears throat> Just this elevated, pompous attitude. And it's just all blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> you know what I mean? And I was paying, at, well, whatever. It comes to find out, after a lot of, like, some bizarre behavior, these were professionals, like, old enough to be my grandparents. Like, weird. Like, you should be way more wise than this. After they put me through a lot of uncomfortable situations, I had this whole bl blow up, and I was just like, I'm not going to be treated this way. I demand 50% back. Oh, I let loose. <clears throat> and I got my 50% back, but... God, I should 
should've asked for more, but you know, it's kind of fair. They did give me, but they wasted so much time. Anyways, it comes to find out once all that happened, I was talking to some of the people, cause they had a bunch of employees and they all quit. And some of them kept in touch with me. They're like, you know, um, so-and-so, basically the people I was dealing with were vegan. I'm like, ah, oh, it explains it. Maybe that's why they treat me nasty. Cause I'm like the antichrist, the vegan world, the vegans all hate me. Excuse me. So it could have been deliberate and I had no idea, or it's just like evident of how the, the vegan mind works, which is substandard. I'm not even saying this to be mean. I, it's really my belief. It, that's literally the reason I quit being vegan in the first place. Is this better? Don't really know. Some would argue it is, believe it or not. Huh. Can you please show us how to pick out the perfect avocado? Yes, I would love to. I'm, I'm an avocado expert. I know how. Your behavior is so crazy and genuinely satirical and irony. Oh, that doesn't matter. Thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> huh, when are you going to go meet your fans? Uh, uh, did you not see yesterday's video? <laughs> Please watch. I, listen, if I am followed or chased or photos sneakily taken or... It out and about and I'm not prepared, I'm unaware, then yes, I'm gonna be a little on edge. However, I've said I've wanted to do a tour for the past year now. Now, if I'm doing something where I already mentally prepare, and I know people are paid to be there, people are screened for this and that, it's in a safe environment, I'm already knowing what I'm doing, then yes, it would, I would love to meet people and do like a little tour like Chelsea Lynn does or Trisha Paytas did. I think that would be really fun, but that's very different than unexpected, like, boop, let me follow you around Walmart and not tell you, and uh, no, that's, whole different. that's a whole different thing. So if that ever happens, <clears throat> will you ever do a chill episode? Are we not chill right now? What's your name? I'm not going to give you that attention. What do you mean? I'm chill right now. This is chill for me, really. Actually, yesterday was yesterday was pretty chill as well. Thoughts on Trisha Paytas? Mm. Crazy like me. That's really it. Crazy like me. Is Noodle still alive? Yes, Mr. Noodle is still alive. Have you tried find, finding your biological family? No, I haven't tried. <clears throat> okay. Why are you fat? Don't know. Scientists are searching. Will you collab with Eugenia Cutie? People I see say this all the time. Because I'm so fat and she's so skinny. You know... I've had a few exchanges with, exchanges with her years ago. Did you guys know that? Let me tell you. Um, I used to do streaming back when I could tolerate that stuff. I hate streaming now. I don't think I'm ever doing it. It's just a waste of time and you're giving all this energy out for pennies. It's just like a lot of entitled people come to those things and I just don't. And you have to be in the mindset for it. I like the Emily D. Baker streams. I watch those, but she can handle it. Also, she only reads when people pay, which maybe I should have just done. <laughs> Not always. But see, YouTube didn't have that back then. This was many years ago. And I got people that would come on every day and be like, show me your outfit. Show me your shoes. Can I see your bathroom? And I just ask me every detail about my life. I'd sit there for hours and then walk away at $20. Sometimes I'd have some big tippers come in. <clears throat> and that was fun. And I don't want to make it sound like everything's for money, but at the end of the day, it is. This was my job. I didn't do anything else. And I would sit there for hours and I just felt like I was eating it. It was really uncomfortable for me too. It was like, I just did not like it. <clears throat> I didn't like being picked apart live. I'm like, no, people should pay for this. That's why either you pay for my cameo or you'll come to my tour. 
for this like one-on-one -on -one interaction. No, I'm not doing that anymore. And most YouTubers don't. And ones that do are really popular, so it's just like a flood of streams. So it doesn't look like I'm giving you a one-on-one -on -one attention. Like sometimes it, if I had 30 people show up to my chat, then it's like I'm giving these people equal, like one-on-one -on -one attention for nothing. And they would sit there and talk about my weight, talk about my family, ask really humiliating questions. They would type out anything to embarrass me and get my reaction on camera. I'd have to read it. It was just too many trolls. I feel like if I went, I haven't been live for years. I think if I go live on my main channel, there'll be like 3,000, 4,000 people there. And in that scenario, when it's like flying by, I don't have to see all the negativity. I feel like it would be a little bit easier, but I'd rather just make a video like this. Anyways, what was the question? Oh, Eugenia Cooney. So she used to do this live. I don't know, maybe she still does it, but I used to do it a long time ago. And uh, she used to shout me out. I used to shout her like, hi, you know, cause she was like a big streamer over there at the time. I was trying to grow myself and I was being really friendly and kind to everyone that was like prominent on the, on the site. And then she followed my uh, Twitter and that was it. There's my interaction, it was very friendly. I have three questions here about my, three questions about my hair from three different people, but all at the same time. It's, <clears throat> so it says, they're asking about my, my body and my health. Ooh, girl, that was a wet fart. Um, oh no, excuse me, about my hair. How do you get your hair to look like a spike? What's your hair care, hair care routine? How does your hair look like that? So three people want to know. Um, this is my natural widow's peak natural hairline. All I have to do is get out of the shower and blow hair, air, uh, hair blow. What's it called? Air dry hair blower. Is that the, what's that machine? Isn't it called a hair blower? Is that what the machine is called? Air dry, hair dry, blow air, something. What's that thing called? A hair blower, hair dry, a hair dryer. I don't know what the English word is for. For that machine, I'm drawing a blank. I swear, I'm very smart. If I was vegan, I'd be way dumber. Anyway, that's what I do. And then I put some gel in it and I'm done. I know, it's unique. No one has it. No one has been able to pull off this haircut because it's unique to me. Okay. Please do a mushroom mukbang. You couldn't pay me enough. No, 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 no. How do I get out of feeling sad? Help. I can't help you. <laughs> How did I get out of it? I'll tell you what I did yesterday. Yesterday was a horrible day for me. What I did was I ate a bunch of greens. Baby spinach. This huge bag that I bought from Costco. It was really Orleans, but I decided to eat half of it. Yesterday, I had some raw tomatoes. Like from fruit. Hydration. I mean, I'm very hydrated, but I just needed fiber, greens, to like help scrape out the, the lining of my intestinal tract. Just cleanse. You know, that I'm very against juice cleanses. Oh, well, I shouldn't say this. The orange juice cl cleanse is something special to me, but if you think about that, it's still calories. It's still some fiber in there. It's not as bad, it's not as good as eating oranges per se, but okay, the green juice cleanses, the vegetable juice cleanses, the, um, those types of things. I was watching, what's her face, uh, Julia Michaels, she says those aren't even cleanses to begin with. You're just ruining your metabolism, ruining your adrenal glands, making yourself hungry, starving yourself of vitamins, and accomplishing nothing, and just wasting your money. <clears throat> she says a true cleanse is fiber, because fiber actually removes whatever's there. It's literally, it's like, it's, it's fiber. It's what pulls things down and out. That's a cleanse. And she says so many people, they think that's just drinking carrot juice and celery juice. She's like, you're not absorbing it. Well, yes, you can absorb it, but some people throw apples in there. You throw sugar, there's no fiber. You give yourself blood sugar spikes. Um, the orange juice cleanse is different. It's big, different because the orange juice cleanse, you're still eating calories. So like, remember I do that and it's like this much. That's like 500 calories of orange juice, 400 calories. And I would have two of them for dinner, you know. There's fiber, it was all done by hand. 
and I personally got benefits from those things. I have tried juice cleanses and they do nothing. Beet juice, all that stuff. Anyways, what was, oh, so that's what I did for my sad day, and it worked. I started feeling better in the head. All of my, like, worries started to fall apart. It's, it's kind of crazy what, like, a buildup of toxins can do in your body. Um, I mean, I already knew this. Trust me, I've been down this road a million times. You're talking to a vegan. I identify as vegan now. It's official. I am a vegan. I am skinny, and I am vegan. That's how I identify. I identify as vegan. And what else did I do? I went to sleep for a very long time. When will you go healthy? I am healthy. I identify as healthy. Are you actually going on the H3H3 H3 podcast? Is it H3 or H3H3? H3? I didn't even know what to title my video when I was responding to him because it was like, I always thought it was H3H3. H3. Now it's just the H3. I don't even know what it means, do you? Hildy 3, Heidi 3. Hildy Heidi. The Hildy Heidi Show. I don't know. What's the H stand for? Uh. Hippo. Yes, I am going on. I'm going on in January. Like, it is January now, but like the end. Mm-mm-mm. These nuggets today are perfection. I have no idea what we're going to talk about, but I'm really, I'm really ready for anything. Ask me a question. Boom, I have an answer. I mean, look, I'm practicing right now. Let's ask some mean ones so I can practice. How often does Tori beat you up? Um, he does not beat me up. When will you go on the HG podcast? All right, answer that. Why are you so attractive? I know. <laughs> These are such hard questions. What are your favorite snacks off camera? Ramen noodles, even though I always regret it. Like, I love the taste of spicy ramen, but it messes up my insides. I'm just messed up. My mind stops working. I feel the MSGs going to the bathroom's horror. Like, just... But it tastes so good. How was your New Year's? Really sad. I just sat and cried. <laughs> You know, I texted a bunch of my friends, and I did see some fireworks. But, I don't know. I just felt like, wow, another year of eating. What's well, up my life? Oh. When you go on the H2 podcast, I came to your channel from them. I watch you every day now. Thank you. Okay. We got a little clout. One person. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, in January, at the end of January, you guys. Did you have a New Year's kiss? No, I did not. Nick, thank you for all you do. Thank you for thanking me. I'm a hustler. I also really like money. And I really like the attention. And I really like to eat. So, I mean, yes. Some days it's like, wow, I just would like to take a break for, but also I'm like, but I like all these things I just mentioned and I have to eat to survive. <sighs> what does your body smell like? <clears throat> Depends on what perfume I'm wearing. I wear um, Tom Ford some days. I My favorite scent in the world is Dolce & Gabbana, the one, but it doesn't last. I've bought that uh, Oide Parfum like the most concentrated, it doesn't last more than two hours. It's horrible. It goes away so quickly. It's my favorite scent and I have tried so many times trying to put it on different spots. Just, it fades. It's a waste of $100. But now I wear um, Tom Ford um, Black Orchid, which lasts way, <gasps> excuse me, way longer. And then there's just another one too I have in my closet. What is it called? Oh no, it's something I never heard of before, but it's Oide Parfum and it lasts all day. It's very, very strong. It's like a spicy fig. That's what Orlin tries to describe it to me. It's wonderful. It lasts long. It's not that expensive. Mmm. So I smell like that some days.
What are your favorite candles or body wash? Well, I'm really into scents. Um, I would love to design my own perfume, my own scent, like really expensive, like essential oils. I went to the um, Henry Jacques Boutique in Singapore. Um, when I stayed at the Marina Bay Sands, this was like four years ago. Couldn't afford it, of course. It was like, <clears throat> it was literally the size of this dipping sauce. It was like essential oils with a little dropper. $700. $700. I, but, you know, I acted like I could. I walked in there like, hi, you know. I'm trying to expand my collection. <laughs> I sat there, I smelled all these things. Um, but I would like to have something like that one day. I love, my dream was to work in a, like a high-end perfume boutique. Not Macy's, mall, little countertops. You get your generic Ralph Polo Lauren and your, you know, Gucci and stuff. No, I want to like, the names that you've never heard of, but they cost five times more. And really, really high, high concentrated stuff that's like really intense that you need one little drop and it lasts all day from Paris like something like, like that was always my dream and it still kind of is um oh but yeah I do like sense um Raven Simone you guys know I collabed with her um on this channel and my main channel which it's almost been a year which is so crazy to think about it seems like yesterday god when was that April March April or March, something like that. Oh my gosh, it's been a year? What? See, this is why I cried on New Year's. <laughs> like, as I get older, the years go faster! <sighs> well, anyways, she gifted me, um, oh great, what is it called? Oh no, oh no. It's the best soap I've ever smelled, and it just opened up a whole new world, world for me, for hand, like hand soaps for the bathroom and the, and the kitchen. What is it called? Dang it. Mark Jacobs. That's the brand, right? But the, the, there's lots of scents you can choose from in that collection. It comes from London, I'm pretty sure. Mark Jacobs, London. Am I right about this? And the one I like is called um, Oid, Oid, A-U-D, Oid, Oid, Oid. It's a brown thing with like gold in it, like little flecks of gold. And it has this like woody, musky, yet slightly, uh, no, it, it reminds me of Dolce, the Dolce & Gabbana, the one perfume that doesn't last. And you know, it's just hand soap, so it doesn't last very long either. But you know what's funny? I washed my hands before sleep last night because I believe it, I feel like I really need to start getting into aromatherapy. With all this stress and stuff, I, I'm telling you, when I'm having like anxiety attacks and stuff, what helps me is music and scents. Like I just like washed my hands. I was feeling so, remember yesterday I was literally crying all day. I washed my hands in that soap and I just went. I sat on my bed. I put the air conditioner nice and cool. Um, I just sat and just like felt the cold air. I had no clothes on, just sat on my bed and just went in the dark. And it calmed me down, just smelling it calmed me down. And I woke up this morning, I smelled my hands and it still smelled like the soap. Now that's because I didn't touch, I mean, I just laid in bed all day, but um, you know, it does come off, for, I'd say within an hour or two, but um, it's called Oid. Should I show you? Let me show you. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm like, this is kind of personal, but it's also, I feel like I've already told this story already. But anyways, I really want to get into like actual aromatherapy where you have that little device and like puff the magic dragon. It's like, ooh, like it's just like, like incense. Just sit in a room, meditate, incense, and like some really calming, uh, like frequency, HC, something, just boom, boom, boom. Like, oh, let me show you. Don't go to, I'm not turning this off. You guys, remember I told you the other day, I like home videos where everything just, there's no edits. <clears throat> Let's see how good my mask. Oh my God, did I say Mark Jacobs? Wow. Oh, this is embarrassing. You know, if Raven's even watching this, she's probably like, wow, this guy is so dumb. I told you I'm really smart though. Believe me. Molten Brown. Mark Jacobs, who's, who's Mark Jacobs? I don't know anything about anything. 
and it's called, oh, I even spelled it wrong. It's O-U-D-H, Oid Accord in Gold. That's what it looks like. Molten Brown o Oid, Oid Accord in Gold. I can't even speak the language. I think this is like Middle Eastern or something. <sighs> oh, it just takes all my fears away. It takes all my worries away. And, you know, I've had this for a year and look how much I've used of it. I save it for special occasions. AKA when I'm having a really bad day and I'm melting down. Like real meltdowns, like just like panicking over life. And I literally, that's how, I mean, I'll do like one squirt. So this, I've probably had 30 to 40 occasions. Because <laughs> a little bit comes out. It doesn't create a lot of bubbles, which I don't like, but, you know. It just makes you think of Grandpa. Like Grandpa with like a, a like a, like a corduroy vest on. Like the parent trap grandpa sitting in his office with his man den with like books, like a smart man den, not the sports bar, like books behind him and he's smoking a pipe and a cigar and there's like leather seats. It's very like manly. And this is what I did last night. I put it on my, I went, and I tried to calm myself down and I went to sleep. So thank you, Raymond. I know I'm a train wreck. I really appreciate this. Oh, <clears throat> she knows I'm crazy. <clears throat> she knew. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> you know, she watched my videos, so she knew, and she's like, "Yeah, that guy is so bizarre. Let's invite him over." <laughs> what the heck? Oh my god! Could you imagine? Oh my god! But it is really funny how all that happened. But anyways, this is one of the best gifts I've gotten because I use it. Every time I use it, I think of her, but it also brings me to a calm place, which I really appreciate. So I, I'm really curious to try more of their things, Molten Brown. And you guys work for them, please send me, email me some coupons, 20% off, because it's expensive. I looked this up, this was like $40 or something. It was a gift, but I would like to get more. I want to try the body soap. I want to try the actual perfume. And they have like, and they have more scents. And they had this kit that's like these little travel sample sizes. It's like 20 of them in this box. I really want to get that. But also I might hate half of them. So I kind of want to find what stores can I just go to and sniff them all and narrow it down. Because I, I really like that this is my type of scent. Excuse me, Woody. How do you describe it? I don't even know how you describe it to someone. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Let me read this to you. What was the dang question? Oh, your favorite candles or body wash. This is a long answer for you. London, a canopy of evergreens sloped among the mountains. Rare, Renoris heartwood, dense and dark. Honey gold sun prims and a downpour of warm rain. Explore the steamy depths of a spiced forest. The fragrance, top notes of cinnamon leaf, nutmeg and baramont, a heart of elemi, myrrh and black tea, a base of oid, vetiver and honey. Precious, heady, head, mesmer, given head, huh, what? Precious head and memorizing. <laughs> <laughs> Literally says it on the box. Precious head. Man, I never got that before. Precious head. Oh my god. Well, this is what calms me down these days. And um, I really wanted to explore more, expand upon it, maybe find incense that smells like it, maybe get into real aromatherapy. Like, I feel like this is what I need. Yesterday we talked about therapy. I'm someone that's very artistic. Visually, musically, I have an eye for design, spacing, colors, expression, and never did I really, I mean, I don't have a talent for scent, but I have a, an appreciation for it. It probably just goes in with that brain 
link, right? Dance, music, uh, painting, fragrance, you know, this has nothing to do with math, numbers, my brain is not that. So it kind of makes sense that I'm really into this or that it works for me, maybe. <sighs> so if you have any thoughts about that, please comment down below. Let me know if you're in, if you have any uh, molten brown. And who's Mark Jacobs? I don't even know what I was saying. Favorite Broadway score. Oh, that's so mean. How do I choose just one? Oh my God, where, oh my gosh, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, there's so many good, I'm itching a bug bite, I'm so sorry. Ugh. Um, I have so many Broadway score that I've actually performed myself. So where do I even begin? So many show. I did so many shows. Why is my lip numb? Did I? Did I touch the soap on my? I might have a skin sensitivity too. Oh well, it's worth it. <laughs> mm, maybe this should not go by your mouth and nose. Ooh. It's like n my top lip is numb. Is it turning into like those girls that get injections? Is that what's happening to me? Have you seen? I'm not a fan of those really. Some, yes, some can be nice, but I feel like let's bring back the skinny lip. Please. And people say, oh, well, it looks more voluptuous for giving precious head. Well, um, that might be true. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to think. You know, I never really paid attention. The times that I've gotten precious, mesmerizing head. Um, did I ever really pay attention to And I'm back. Hello. And it's still just water weight. Um, sorry, the camera battery <sighs> stopped working. What was the question? I totally forget, but let's move on now. But yes, this is my thing these days. Goals for 2022, why do I love you so much? You're the best, I love you. You're my favorite channel. Thank you for your commitment. What's your resolution? What are your favorite YouTube channels? Um, I mentioned Emily D. Baker, I think talking about live streams. I've, I've been watching her for a while. I think it's, it's a breath of fresh air. This, this YouTube platform does not have smart people hate to say it, but it's true. Um, and if I'm ever in trouble, I wish I could just call her up. Hey, help. <laughs> um, how are things between you and Orland? They're fine. What other collabs would you like to do? Share. And Britney Spears. Relationship advice, please. Why are you asking me for advice? What's your name? Dumbo. Why are you asking... Why should I not quit my corporate job? Uh, why should you not? Because it's a corporate job and you get to answer me on the phone. I got four chicken nuggets, I ordered five. And you'll say, well, I'm sorry, sir. That's how life goes, deal with it. And you can hang up on me and keep your job. How deep does that belly button go? Pretty, pretty far in there. What's your favorite size? Honestly, all of the sizes. I was gonna say something like three or four, and you're like, what? I'm like, yeah. It's just so much easier, just easier for all things involved. Okay, remember what mine is, okay? It's not a normal thing. It's, I'm a guy, so I don't want something that's, okay? I actually don't prefer that. I don't think, I don't know. I really, I, I like them. Actually, you know what I'm more concerned about? Not even just size, but there's two other things that matter more to me than size. And those things would be, how do I say this? Um, how thick this french fry box is. And also, does the chicken skin, is it skin? Or is it all just like gone and chopped off and dry? I care about those two things more than, yeah. Oh, girl. Oh. 
I woke her up. Shh! You're exposing me! Ugh. Go back to sleep, Bethany. Bethesda. Let's call it a car. No, not Bethany. That's B Love's life's name. What should we call her? Be uh, Bethesda? I don't know why I said Bethesda. I was actually thinking of another funny name and it slipped and then it just came out Bethany. Um, are you excited to be on the podcast? Uh, yes, actually. I'm excited to compare mine to Ethan's. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have acne all over, so don't judge. My back, ooh, wow. People always com compliment my skin. Oh, it's so clear. Oh, yeah. Well, I got kind of lucky because my face, for the most part, is clear. But I have it on my stomach and inside the stretch marks and on my back. So that's a good trick. Also, I'm starting to lose my hair in the back. I have receding hairline from the back. I'm telling you. Bethesda, she's, she knows. All the action starts from the back. <laughs> oh, but yeah, so if I end up, you know, showing it off and doing a comparison with Ethan, please don't judge the barnacles growing on my belly. I, it's, 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 it's like, ooh. It's honestly, it's just... Stretch marks stretching to it's just acne. Oh well, look at what I eat. It should actually be a lot worse I should literally look like a Haas avocado covered in bumps, but I don't My chest is fine. My face is fine. My arms every once in a while. I'll get pimples on my legs like the body's running out of place to like Release toxins I guess I don't know But yes, I am excited. I'm excited to meet um Hildy and all the other people involved there's a lot of people there and you know i feel like it's gonna i think we're gonna get along great i feel like it's gonna be really exciting i feel like we're gonna have so much to talk about i also feel like it's gonna run for like four hours they didn't even tell me how i'm s <sighs> they didn't tell me how long it's going for i don't care you know they're paying i'll do as long as they want i mean not seven out Ooh. What's your favorite dipping sauce ranch? Do you want to be friends? I don't know who you are, so no. Favorite Disney movie? Click the link below to follow my Patreon. You'll get exclusive weekly videos about my life, plus tons of mukbangs not allowed on YouTube. Link below. I don't really have one, to be honest. I do like Finding Nemo. I love Pixar a lot. How can I be confident like you? Honestly, it's kind of easy when you're talking to a camera. <laughs> There's no one here. If I was doing this live, it would be a little bit different. But then again, I was a live performer half my life. From dance to piano to singing to acting to violin. I've So it's just, I'm, I would do great on tour. But how can you be confident? I really don't know what to tell you. I think you either got it or you don't. And that's okay. Not everyone has to be super confident. And that's okay. You know that is okay, right? It is okay. Why do people always, I think people want to have more confidence, but it's okay to be um, shy, reserved, um, have an introspect and uh, stillness and pa uh, patience. Maybe like a very steady cadence, very steady tempo. Not everyone has to be upbeat and lively. Does our society really down, like, look down upon people who are not confident? It's okay not to be confident. I think we have room for those people too. I don't know. I don't I don't know why people need to be more confident. Some people are just naturally more confident. Whether it was their not even upbringing. I was raised the same way as all five of my siblings, and I'm the most confident one out of all of them. So, what did you get for Christmas? I got a scooter, which I um we need to start riding which I love, I did take it to the park. I just wanna say you are a king and a genius. No one gets it, but I do. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, would you ever go to uh, Disney World or Disneyland? Neither, I've never, well, no, I did go to Disneyland with Eric and his girlfriend. Um, hey, Eric, this was like years ago. It was fun, but not to like ride the rides. It was just to eat. <laughs> 
I'm so fat. But that was fun. I'm really not into standing in line in the sun. I'm just not. I just, ugh, I'm just not. I'll stand in line if it's shaded. Ooh, see, I am getting acne on my arms. You guys, again, don't judge. My body's a little upset with me. How did you write the song, We Love Cheese, Dun Dun? It's actually called, I Love Cheese, Dun Dun. And I don't know, I just came up with it one day and it's lasted all these years. Same with, I am back home. Shoot do I'm home, hello, I'm back home. Hi from New Zealand, I'm home, hello. Do you like Slovakia? Sure, I guess. Is that the wrong answer? I don't know what's going on over there. How are you feeling today? Fine. If you never started mukbangs and being successful with it, where would you be, honestly? Under a bridge, getting some... Oh, um, did you ever listen to Weezer? No. Happy New Year, thank you. Would you ever consider doing a live mukbang at a comedy club? Yes, like I just said, I would love to do a live mukbang at a comedy club. I better... Whole, I better get some good farts with that and put the microphone down there. <laughs> it's just trash, you know. <gasps> what are you gonna collab with Trailer Trash Tammy? Speaking of trash, I don't know. You guys will have to wait and see. Yes, we're still friends. People ask me all the time. I'm, I'm still friends with 90% of the people I collab with. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Don't really talk to her. Don't really talk to her. But, you know, it's friendly. You know, it's not... Not everyone's gonna be your best friend. It doesn't have to be that way. I've only literally had one bad collab. Just one. Um, so my record speaks louder than the other people who are like, oh. I'm like, well, yeah, that person had one collab themselves. I've had 25 and everyone loves me. Thank you. Um, please give me money. No, I'm greedy. Um, please call Nancy or corporate. Who do you call for first? <gasps> Good question. I don't like calling corporate because you have to sit on the phone for a long time. I don't like calling Nancy because she takes all my money. Did Michelle Obama really see pizza as a vegetable? I don't know. I think that was, um, I, don't, I think the Republicans joked about that one time. I don't know. I honestly, I only said that because Orland said it one time. And I kind of just ran with it. I really don't know. I don't know if she's scrutinized for doing something to the food pyramid for kids' schools. I actually don't know. If, what, if something did happen, it happened years ago and I probably was just unaware. I just say it because it's funny. It, I have no idea if it comes from any legitimate backing. And it doesn't really matter because it's a joke. Um, how often do you go number two? At least three times a day. Yeah. When are you going on H3 soon? A couple weeks, literally. When's the baby due? I don't know. Why is Nancy so hot? Yeah, well, Nancy's taken. Okay, we're talking about Carly Steele. She's taken. Go check out her channel. You can go see who she's taken by. It's called Carly and Josh. You can go. They do mukbangs, too. I just watched them eat all these tacos. It was really funny. W where the treadmill go? Oh, it's still here. I love that you asked about that. It's still here, collecting dust. Right now, we hang hats on it and uh, empty water bottles. And it's always in the up position. I'm too fat. Uh, last, last time I was really into the treadmill, I was getting heart palpitations, so I stopped. And then when I stopped doing the treadmill, all the palpitations went away, so I said, see, it's the treadmill's fault. <laughs> it's horrible, but it's true. It's true. If I start doing more exercise than I'm used to, I get heart If I just sit still, it's like controlled chaos, you know? Sit still. Sit still. Sit still. What's your favorite video you've done recently? Ah, oh, this one. This has been so fun. I did like Jollibee yesterday, but that was kind of depressing. What did I have the day before that? Cheapers, creepers. It's kind of all a, bra a blur. Are you angry with Mr. Beast after that Penguins video? Did you eat at Mr. Would you eat at Mr. Bra Beast Burger? Why? Um, no. I don't think it's personal. I think they're just trying to make money. That's what smart people do. They band together and make money. I don't think it's. I don't even think he cares about me, Mr. Beast. So no, I'm not really, not really that upset. Even though I was, but I was just emotional, you know. Do you love your fans? I do. It's a hate love relationship over here, and I just tell it like it is. Sometimes you all piss me off, and sometimes I'm like, ah, I love you. <laughs> um, and that's just how it is. And I'm just, you know, I'm not one of those dumb YouTubers that's like, you guys are perfect. Sending you all my love. Hi, friends. 
You guys are my friends. Uh, you're all not my friends. And I don't act like you are. You know, it's just, uh, and I can be really fake, trust me. But that's a whole nother of fakery that I don't get into. <laughs> it's just like, uh, like so many YouTubers are like, you guys are my best friends. I love you so much. It's like, you don't care at all. I mean, a little, maybe a little bit. But I feel like I'm way, I'm way more just real than other YouTubers, even when I'm just being fake too, which I can, everyone can be a little fake, but I feel like there's an element of realness to me that you don't get with other people. <clears throat> if you could move to another state, where would you go? Alaska. I am very intrigued by that place. Did you ever meet Kate Yup? No. Is she alive? I don't know. How old were you met Orlin? I think I was 21, 22, 23. I don't remember, actually. Let me try to think. We met in 2013, so. How old was it? 18, 19, 22. I was 21. And then he would have been 19. Something like that. How are you going mentally? I'm going really well, thank you. <laughs> Every day. Um, can you speak Ukrainian? No, I can't. Can you speak Spanish? No, I... Porqui, porquito. I don't know if I should say that out loud. I don't know who that is, so... That sounds like a bad thing. Whose fault is it really? Your fault! It's always your fault. Do you like food? Uh... Grow by. Can you please, in front of the camera, just yell chicken sandwich? Um, how about you book me on Cameo for that? That sounds a little personal, like something's going on there. Pay for me and I'll give you a five minutes. Hey, there's a good plugin. Um, I make videos for people all the time. People want to hear like, a per like their own special video where I talk to them, call them by name, and do whatever you ask me to. You can get one. Just book me. Cameo.com slash Nikocado Avocado. You have to book it on the computer, by the way. Don't use the app. I'll deny you. Or I'll, I'll literally tell you. I'll be like, please rebook this through the computer. Why are you so hot? I know. I don't know why. It's just how I am. Not to be rude, but I can't imagine you on... <laughs> it's because I don't. Someone says that, um, how do I word this for YouTube? I'm on top of a bridge, okay? I'm sta I'm over top, okay, of a bridge, but underneath, instead of the water, it's Orland. Uh, um, I don't do that. My knees will bust. I haven't done that for so long. I'm too big. And we can't do the other way either because he's too big. He has these short little legs. He literally told me the other day, he's like, you need to go get someone to... Do what I can't do. I don't care. I'm like, eh, I don't feel like it. What is the cause of the industrial resolution and the aftermath of said event? The cause of the industrial re re revolution. People wanted stuff. People wanted more stuff so they could buy stuff and have more stuff. There, there's my college essay. How are you so beautiful? I know. Someone says, how many roles do you have? One big one, pretty much. Would you ever come to Portugal? Yeah, sure. You guys have great roofs. They're so cute with the little tiles. Looks like parts of Colombia. Would you follow my account? No, I don't follow anyone on Instagram. Really not interested. <laughs> Honestly, what it is too is that just like, it reminds me of MySpace, who's in the top fans. Like, there's going to be people I forget to follow. And then people that I'm friends with or people that I am into and I forget because there's so many, they're going to feel offended. Well, he doesn't follow me. I guess he doesn't really like me. And it becomes like this competition where you don't follow me. But there's some people I want to follow, but I don't want other people to know that I follow them. We all have those people. <laughs> I'm sure I'm one of them for you. Let's be real. Let's be real. My main account on YouTube gets about 2 million views, 3 million views. My last video has 5 million views, but I only have 2 million subscribers. So there's millions of people. Well, they were probably just recommended, but still, there's a lot of people. My Instagram is great proof of it. Great proof of it. Great proof of it. I'll get 60, 70,000 views on, a, on an Instagram story after the 24 hours, yet I only have 50,000 subscribers. That means 20,000 people are deliberately watching, but they don't want to follow. They don't want people to know that they follow me. 
So I'm that way too, you know. So that's why I don't follow anybody. Because it'll just, it, it messes with my mind and I feel like people are going to like take offense and people... I don't need to give that information up, who I'm interested in following. So, no, I don't follow anybody with my, uh, this account. So I'm not following you. See what I mean? Other YouTubers won't tell you like it is. You know what I mean? They just want, they would avoid the question. Ugh, oh, there's so much fake people. They would not tell that to you. And I just farted. Thoughts on the paranormal activity? Where? In here? <laughs> Come out wherever you are, Mr. Ghost. I hope you're hot. I did see that, 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 uh, which, uh, what the word do I use? That edited clip of me? The whole six million thing? Man. It literally is just shocking what people do. Why is water wet? Don't know. How are you doing? I'm fine. Can you please wish me a happy birthday? Book me on Cameo. I'd love to, but I'm not doing it here in my video. Link down below. Cameo.com. And plus, you don't want it to be generic. You want it to be personal. <sighs> Favorite movie? Don't have one. Do you think PewDiePie is hot? In a way, yeah. <laughs> He's gonna watch this now. <laughs> um, yeah. In a way, I think so. Mm -hmm. Um, people saying the N word to me, I don't even know how to respond to that. I literally, I just, no. How many cameo and Patreon promotions do you put into one video? Usually one of each, sometimes two of each. In case you're curious. Because my videos are literally the length of a movie. So yes, I can afford to have more than one little shout out. Buy my merch. It's just waterweight.com. Go check out all the shirts. There's so many to choose from. They actually really are. Oh. Okay, I keep. This is not. this. The whole farting is getting old, isn't it? Does it hurt getting. Oop. <laughs> Sometimes. Do you ever crave a home cooked meal? Very rarely, but I had some great home-cooked meal with uh, candy for Thanksgiving. It's very rare for me to have home-cooked. The last time before that was probably with Raven and Miranda. They made me all that home-cooked food. And it was great. We all got kind of tummy ache after that mac and cheese. What was it? It was probably the cauliflower mac and cheese. I remember we were all like, like our stomachs were like, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> And we're like, rrr, rrr. you know, it was probably my body like saying, wow, look at all those vegetables. We don't know. We don't know what to do, sis. We're kind of kind of in a state of shock right now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But um, I rarely eat home cooked meals, but I do love them when I get them. I just don't want to cook it myself. That's just dumb, not answering that. Favorite restaurant, don't have one. Would you ever come to Spain? Maybe, I don't know. Would you ever play violin professionally again? I think about it, but then I think about, yeah, I would actually like to, maybe. Maybe I have a better chance now, but it could backfire because yes, I have a lot of fans, but I also have a lot of hater fans. And be like, oh, Nick Okada's gonna come perform the Star Spangled Banner for this, and then there's gonna be people protesting. No, he's a train wreck. No, he's mentally unstable. You know, you just get all those idiots and then they're like, mm, sorry, this is bad for our brand or something. You know, it's just like, and also, I lived in the violin world. Let me tell you, I'll make more money from eating something than I would from going to perform at a wedding. I mean, that's kind of my own fault. I only charged $250 um, a wedding, but that was my fault. I probably could have charged more, but that, that was the rate, maybe 300. I used I used to, I used to literally get on trains and travel to other states to learn all this repertoire and practice it and did and literally be for three hundred dollars. I could have charged more, maybe, but that wasn't that wasn't the, the rate. You know what I mean? I mean, shoot, I'll make that same amount from this video. Yeah, 
250 I'll make $300 from this video. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Do I regret anything in 2021? Um, uh, not 2021. 2020, yes. 2019, no. 28, well, I actually can't remember that far back, but, <laughs> but last year, do I really regret anything? Not really. I can't think of it, so maybe no. Do you prefer black men or white men? What kind of question is that? You mean like, you know, what? <laughs> what do you mean? That's a weird question. I feel like I'm being set up here. <sighs> to be honest, I like all types. All types. People always ask me my type. Trust me, I'm attracted to like redhead people and Asian people. Like I'm a Latino, clearly. Like I don't really just have like, you know how some people are only like a certain, you know, a cer certain, um, maybe skin tone or type of hair or maybe eyes like some people are really into blue-eyed people of course this dies maybe it's their height maybe it's their weight like i i know so i know a lot of people that are only into chubby people like no offense but you're too skinny for me like i see that all the time and this is really bright shine bright like a diamond oh yeah um, but I like them skinny, I like them fat, I like them dark, I like them light, I like them all different ways. Oh, this is really, this lighting's not okay. Um, so, both. And it's pretty much equal. I, I don't think I like one or the other. Like, actually, I don't. <laughs> Gosh, that might not have been... Okay, someone made an account pretending to be my dietitian. <laughs> that caught me off guard. Um, well, my dietitian says, do you have a commission? A commission? For what? A commission for what? Next, I really don't understand. Amber, you make no sense most of the time anyway. <sighs> um... <laughs> oh, I'm not going to answer that one. Will you be in character for H3 or are you going to answer the questions as real Nick? I don't know where people are getting this from. I feel like it's a lot of those drama channels that are like going out there saying, Nick does this, he pretends to, like, this has never been a conversation ever until like the past couple months. Like ever. I've always just been myself. If I'm having a bad day, I'm having a bad day. If I'm crying, I'm like any other person that cries. Sometimes I eat a lot. Sometimes I don't. I come here as I is. There's no like secret script. I don't know where people are getting this from, but I think it is from these channels that are trying to like, they're, they're looking for content, right? So they try to find, they try to muster up something that seems, um, I don't know, newsworthy, but it's really nothing to talk about so will i be in character i'm literally gonna be myself as i am in every video cheapers it's just so stupid <sighs> um i don't know who you are so i'm not answering that people are like do you want to come over you're a genius and people don't realize it what happening to h why are people let's set please i'm kind of kind of over talking about this my interview with the h3 peeps is at the end of january the end of january okay they wanted to see me when i was in vegas but it was a week before christmas and with all i'm so glad i didn't do that with all those delays of flights and this and the, oh i would have been miserable and it just was bad timing i'm gonna do that before christmas so i told them january they said okay they said we come back after this date and they scheduled me for 20-something. I'm not going to tell you the day, but 20-something. That's when it comes out. Okay? I'm done. Kind of... I'm pretty sure I've said this, but... Again, H3, 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 H3. I despise you. I'm praying for your doubt. Block! They said, I despise you, and I'm praying for your downfall. Come on, why can't I go to their page?
How do you go to their page? And I can't message them because I turned off my messages. I will block them. I took a screenshot. <clears throat> Blocked off my page. Come to Ireland. I would love to go to Ireland. It still looks too bright. Shine bright like a diamond. Here, let's put some some white here. There we go, okay? Well, now it's too dark. I don't know what's happening. You look very skinny in this video. It was a filter. Also, it's the angle, too. I always make my videos like this. <laughs> would you adopt kids? No, I, I literally hate kids. Um, what happened to the parrot? I ate him. I canceled and Gretel. Threw him in the fire. Um, people are going to think that's real. Oh my God. What's your, uh, favorite Venezuelan food? I've never had Venezuelan food. I don't think. This video is getting too long, probably. So let's pick two more. Da, da, da. All right. Let's pick two more questions. One. Can we eat more noodles, please? I just did noodles like a week ago. I, if I could have a, a video, a channel where I eat noodles every day, I would. I'm obviously I have my Noodle King video, but that channel's dead. I haven't posted there for. I posted. Okay, that's one thing too. I keep people saying, "Oh, he's so greedy. He has all these channels." I posted one video on Noodle King last year. On Nikocado Two, I posted three videos. Okay, two hundred bucks. Two hundred bucks. 250 maybe, 150 Noodle King does not get good views. The CPM is real bad. I probably made $50 on my last video. We're talking $400 for the year. I'm not greedy. It's just the channels are dead. <laughs> so I make a new channel. Oh, my God. He's so greedy. He has all these channels. Where is Orlin? Orlin is currently sleeping. Oh, this is good. Oh. Uh, Mm-hmm. <sighs> That's good enough. <laughs> Y'all know that song? Comment down below if you know what else just happened. I'll give you a hint. I kind of hummed it like five minutes ago, like a part of it. So if you know what I was tapping, comment down below. And I'm full. I had most of my chicken nuggets and I barely ate. Now I'm gonna starve. It's your fault. It's okay, let me calm down with my oid mesmerizing head mm. <laughs> don't look at me lady don't look at me it's probably really bad to breathe this uh excuse me this is soap <laughs> uh well thanks for watching my video i feel like i barely ate that's probably a good thing let's be real my water weight is spiraling out of control but thank you for watching. Thank you for joining. Thanks for leaving questions. Please follow my Instagram. It's so hard starting all over again. It's very discouraging because it grows so slowly. And that happened with the old one too. And then once I hit 100K, it just went boom, 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 all the way up to 500. But, oh well, those were different times. Goodbye. I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Hi, it's me. 
I'd like to thank all my patrons for supporting this video and an even bigger thank you to my executive producers, Jamie Baby Cotto, Princess Abby, and C Butter. If you'd like to support my channel a little bit extra, or if you just want to see the real unfiltered side of these videos, click the link in the description box and consider joining all of us over on Patreon. You'll get to see weekly videos and a much more candid side of me. Oh, and by the way, you have to be a grown up to follow. Patreon's really for my closest followers only and new openings become available on a first come first serve basis. So if you see an opening, hurry up. If you want to hear from me personally, get yourself a video directly from me on Cameo, where I can surprise you with a video straight to your phone or your computer. You can also hire me to tell off your friend. If you want more, check out my merch store and get yourself a Waterweight t-shirt. Patreon, Cameo, and merch are all linked in the description box. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.